What's going on everyone? Welcome to another key shot quick tip. In this video, we're going to jump into our updated depth of field settings and learn how to create realistic bokeh. If you've looked for resources on creating bokeh in the past, you've likely come across our custom bokeh quick tip. And while creating custom shapes outside of typical camera blade effects would still require you to create a bokeh filter, we've made it significantly easier to recreate more natural bokeh shapes that a typical camera provides. To achieve the effect, first make sure you have some bright light sources located in the background of your scene. You can use visible area lights or HDRIs to light your scenes, or you can add emissive lights to create light sources that don't affect ambient scene lighting and may be hidden from camera. When I'm creating bokeh effects, I tend to use emissives so I can customize where my bokeh is located in the scene without having to worry about overpowering my existing lighting. This allows me to adjust individual sizes and locations of each bokeh element, as well as allowing individual adjustment of color or temperature. As you can see, in this scene I'm creating a more stylistic background rather than making the bokeh look like it's coming from specific light sources. I've created different size spheres placed at different depths within the scene, applied emissive lights to all, and changed the intensity of a few to create some variety. I've then added some temperature changes between them as well. Once the lighting is situated, I'll locate the camera tab in my project window, go to the depth of field accordion, and enable the depth of field effect by toggling the checkbox on. At this point, I've successfully created a basic spherical bokeh effect using depth of field. However, the camera's blade count can be further customized by selecting the set number of camera blades checkbox and adjusting the settings associated with the feature. You have two settings you can control, the blade number and the degree of rotation. The blade number parameter allows you to select a blade count from 3 to 20, where 3 creates a triangular shape, and 20 essentially creates a perfect spherical bokeh effect. Typically, camera apertures have somewhere between 5 to 14 blades, so if you're trying to create a realistic bokeh effect, I would stick to this range. However, going lower can create some fun shapes to work with. The second of the two bokeh settings is rotation, which allows you to adjust the rotation of your bokeh shape to suit your needs and preference. This setting can be adjusted between 0 and 360 degrees. If you're trying to create realistic bokeh effects or are attempting to match your camera's view to a specific real-world lens, Keyshot's depth of field controls provide a quick and easy way to do so. I highly recommend taking some time to check the feature out. And as always, if you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this quick tip in the comment section below. 